The reason I chose to use the silver polish as a background is because it was always in my head that maybe it would give the blooming gel somewhat of a metallic effect. Hey nail tubers! So today I'll be using EC Basket Full Coverage Long Stiletto Nails. I've mentioned before that in my opinion, they look more almond shaped so I left them in their original form for you to see this. Let me know what you think. Do they look almond to you? I usually file the sides to make them more stiletto for myself. Also, you can see the thumb is larger and longer. I tend to trim them at the cuticle. The only precaution in doing this is being mindful how much you trim because you can lose width at the point end. One thing I do like is how they fit at the cuticle and the C-curve fits comfortable over the nail bed. For this set, I'll be using the McCart Blooming Gels. They're the alcohol inks, a silver shimmer polish by LA Colors that I got at Dollar Tree, a McCart Glossy Top Coat, my McCart Size 6 flat tip gel brush that I'll be using to polish on my Canny Gel Cream by Fenalisa. This is color number 1618. It's a dark ocean blue. And yes, you can create nails using regular polish with gel polish or gel top coat. You just have to make sure the regular polish is completely dry. I've made many sets like this. I'll first do two of the nails with one coat of the LA Color Silver Shimmer. I do them first because I want to ensure that they'll be totally dry by the time I get back to them. You can do two coats, but I choose not to because I'll be using the blooming gel over them later. And also because a regular shimmer polish tends to dry quickly and become clumpy. I didn't want to risk that happening. I was really excited to do this set because I had this idea in my mind for a long time, but now I have the blooming gel to do it. I love colors. Bright, awakened, vibrant colors are my favorite. Originally, I was going to do this in a brighter blue. But as much as I wanted it to be an uplifting and fun set, I also wanted it to have a sophisticated look. So I went with this more muted, deeper ocean blue. I think it's gorgeous. So let me explain to you about my upcoming series, which will start at my very next video. It came about because I've been out of swatch sticks. All I had were a small handful that I've had since nail school, and that was back in uh, ancient history. <laughs> but this time I really, really wanted some of those super long stiletto display tips. I feel like they offer a bigger canvas for nail art, which I love to do. So one day I had to take my brother to an appointment, which was very far from home, but it just so happened that it was in the area where the major beauty suppliers are. So I decided to go there while I was waiting for him. Actually, I wasn't even thinking about these tips. I had forgotten about them. I was actually trying to find a particular glue. Well, you know how it is. Certain products and tools of a trade you can only get at a certain supplier. Well, unfortunately at that time, they didn't have the glue. But when I got there, I was just like in this whole mood. If you know what I mean, like I wanted 
everything. I wanted Madame Glam. I wanted glitter. I wanted the acrylic brushes. I wanted gel brushes, decals, 3D charms. I wanted it all. <laughs> but either way, I get to the nail tips aisle and lo and behold, there are the stiletto display tips. I'm like, yes. I feel like I struck gold. Because you know what? I'm already waiting for an order from AliExpress and I wasn't about to do another order just for these tips because it would take so long just to get here. So you know I was happy. So when I got home, I snapped. I wasn't even planning to do any nails that day, but the ideas kept coming back to back out of nowhere. So I had to do these before I lost my train of thought. Has this ever happened to you? I would surely love to hear about it. Leave a comment telling me about it. Because what I'm saying is, is I literally snapped. I made this a series because I did them all in one sitting. One right after another and another and another. I was in a flow that just wouldn't stop. And I know it was a natural flow because I never got tired. I often like to create variation by using different finishes in a set. For example, using glossy but making one or two other nails matte finish. So I started wondering how matte would look on an abstract nail, which you'll see me create shortly. I ended up doing glossy on the blue ones and decided later which abstract nail to do with the matte finish. So by this time, the silver nail should be totally dry and I go in with the blooming gel. Oh, and that is the alcohol ink. This was really fascinating to me. It felt like I was in an art class where you create your abstract or whatever you create and then let the art speak for itself. So this is not really marbling. I use the colors randomly. Eventually you'll see me add black last to create depth to the design. The reason I chose to use the silver polish as a background is because it was always in my head that maybe it would give the blooming gel somewhat of a metallic effect and I was surprisingly pleased with the results. I also use this silver shimmer gel that you saw in my Model 1's haul. And if you haven't, I'll have a link in my description box, or you can watch to the end of this video for a link. I used it to bring some of that silver back into the forefront by creating fault lines. Now, this silver is a gel and had to be cured.
and here is the bling to give that middle nail some flair between the colors. The AB crystals were a perfect match to all the colors in the abstract nails. I love this set. It's now among my favorites. It was so simple to create and it didn't take a lot of time at all. It looks exactly how I pictured. Just wait until you see the abstract nail with the matte finish. You know, it's so rewarding when you have ideas and you put them into motion to have something turn out as pretty as this, right? I just can't stop looking at them, and that blue surely met my expectations. It's just the right shade and tone. Look at those two abstract nails. It looks good and glossy or matte, but I feel like that matte really gives it an art gallery vibe, don't you? Oh, I just love it. Well, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and comment, but definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss that series that's coming up. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.